This video will show you how to remove, inspect, and maintain the drag washers in the Vanstall VR. This is a Vanstall VR 200. First thing you want to do is remove the spool from the main body. Once you've done that, you're going to want to try to unscrew the cap on the bottom of the spool. It'll probably be really tight, so you'll need to take it off with a vice grip. Try to protect the cap by using an old rubber glove. It will only take a small turn to remove that cap. See, it barely turns. Now, unscrew it. That will expose the inner assembly. That inner assembly is the drag washer insert and spool click racket. It's a drag keeper. You tap that out gently and the drag keeper will come out with that clicker. Now you have an empty assembly and if you want you can clean out that assembly. You'll see here how the washers stack on top of the drag keeper. The black piece is the drag keeper. There are 11 drag washers, three outers, three inners, and five carbon fiber drag washers. That's the outer lock. That's an inner lock. That's how they'll stack together. You'll see the outer key locks will line up and the inner key locks will line up. <clears throat> So there might be a little carbon fiber in there, and this is when you want to clean that out. Now you put it back together. You start with the outer block washers, then the carbon fiber drag disc, then the inner block washer. And then repeat that as necessary until you finish. There you go. You'll see, you just keep repeating that and stack them one on top of the other. To keep, you want to try and keep those inner and outer um, keyways aligned. It'll be the inner one that you're trying to align. The outer one will align to the a keyway inside of the spool and the inner keys will align with the drag keeper so you see that groove there will align with the inner keyway you'll have to wiggle that a little bit as you work that keyway the, in, the, the drag keeper into those keyways and once you get that it'll push down flush and now you need to add the spool click ratchet and again, you'll have to wiggle that and get that to fit down in there flush. It'll all fit flush together on top. Now you screw the cap back on. And once you screw that cap back on, you probably want to tighten it slightly. Again, I use an old rubber glove, take my vice grip, and barely just give it a little bump. Now you're done. Congrats.